Hey, how's it going? Today we're gonna to go over how to draw a Minecraft pumpkin. Uh, it's gonna be super simple and easy. You should be able to do it all the way through. So, uh, I'm gonna be using this. This is gonna be a Faber-Castell PITT artist pen, big brush. You can use any marker you want though. As far as paper goes, uh, this is printer paper from the computer, so it's very good to practice on. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. Uh, like I said, it's gonna be step-by-step -step and for beginners. First thing I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna draw the top part. It's gonna be basically a box, right? It's a top portion of a box. Uh, like the other corner of the box. I'm gonna do the same thing here because I'm gonna go and draw the stem first. Well, not first. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put a line there, and then um, just to kind of have a placement for the stem. I'm gonna draw a line downward here because we're essentially just doing a cube, right, for the actual shape. Down the back end here. So these two lines are parallel, meaning if you were to run them all, all the way, they will never touch. And then I'm gonna make a parallel to this line right here, over here. So this line and this line are parallel. parallel. So if you run them forever, they'll never touch. And do the same thing over here, with this one. down um, before I move forward I'm gonna do the Jack Leonard's face uh, and I'm gonna go right here and it's gonna have square eyes I'm gonna pull a line here a line here just to kind of measure it out to make sure they're kind of even pulling down Pulling down, pulling down, pulling down. And I'm going to close this off here at the bottom. Don't forget to subscribe. Whenever you subscribe, it helps the entire channel out. It kind of lifts everything up. Also, it's really good for you. You know, it'll, uh, it'll subscribe you to next year as well when I start pushing a lot of videos next August for Halloween again, it'll notify you without you having to kind of, you know, figure that out. So whenever you press subscribe, like I said, it just helps out. I'm gonna be posting constantly until this Halloween. I'm gonna post a little bit in November, and then I'm gonna post a bit in December, and then I'll probably spread it out a lot more through the year, drawing maybe like, you know, some scary movie stuff, uh, you know, but not. it's gonna be probably like once a week at that point, uh, but yeah. Uh, but like I said, if you find this stuff fun, or you find my stuff worth your time, um, definitely subscribe. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill these in. All right. I'm going to go down here into the mouth. So I'm going to start with a thick line for the middle. And I'm going to start pulling parts out of it. So right there. Maybe down here. Try to keep it as straight as you can. Of course, you're, you're, you have a pen. It's not going to be polygon shape. So I'm going to start with like the edges of the smile. And then down here as well. It's going to have an edge, but this bottom part's not going to be as thick as this top part. Line right here. Line right here. And I'm going to expand these dark lines into block shapes as much as I can. Again, given that this is, uh, you know, just a marker I'm using. I'm not, like, uh, using a ruler to kind of uh, figure it out. So I'm going to draw a line here, here, and here. I'm going to draw three in the middle there between these. And I'm going to ex uh, expand those out just a bit with the edge of my marker to make them more square-like. Alrighty. 
I'm gonna go up to the stem area. And since the stem is gonna be in front of, uh, as far as art goes, it's gonna be in front, the line's gonna be in front of the back right there. So I'm gonna draw a box here. Back here. So we're drawing like almost like a miniature version of what we just drew. I'm gonna draw a stem upward here as another uh, kind of block. Line out. Line over here. Line back here. I'm essentially just kind of drawing uh, a few uh, extrusions of a stem. You don't need to do this exact thing. Um, it's mainly just one big block with like like one block in front of it, one block to the side of it, another block to the side of it over here, and then maybe one across the top. And that's kind of it really. You don't really need to draw much more than that for that. And now I'm gonna draw a line across, of course not going through that over here. And I'm going to create, see this, remember the parallel thing? There's going to be a parallel line from here to here. And that'll tell you where that closes off. I'm going to put a thicker line over here. I think that needs a thicker line. So one thing that um, the pattern has there that I haven't put in is, and they don't really have this, so this is kind of a translation into line art, is I'm going to throw um, the striations and the pumpkin a bit in here. And I'm gonna do it in thin line. And I'm gonna do it in thin line and small dotted line. And the reason I wanna do it in dotted line is because I think it just looks better. It doesn't obstruct the, um, the design overall of the pumpkin. And I just think it has a, a decent look to it that won't, like I said, completely obstruct the entire design of the pumpkin. And I'm gonna have that spread out the middle there. And it, what it, it normally in Minecraft itself, it's a texture, um, but there's really no way to really translate that into into like like ink, ink, like ink like this without a gradation. So we're gonna, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to improvise by doing that. And I'm going along the surface. I'm thinking of like ants crawling on this block. That's kind of the mindset behind it. What if ants, what would they look like crawling on this block? Oof. And that's pretty much it. That is a Minecraft pumpkin. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, let me know what you think. Also, don't forget to share the video. Whenever you share the video, it brings a tremendous amount of like new comments, new views, uh, you know, just kind of a good energy to the channel. It just kind of helps the algorithm out. Um, thank you so much. I'll talk to you next time. Stay spooky.